Hello, Rolling Talk Fanboy here, and today I'm going to review Kamen Rider Black RX, or as I say in Japan, Kamen Rider Black RX. That one. This is the ninth Kamen Rider series, and it consists of 47 episodes and a movie, and it is the final Kamen Rider series of the Showa era but also the first to be produced in the Heisei era but uh, I'll get more about that in a, later on in this video well anyway um, yes and uh, this is a sequel to Kamen Rider Black now how this series started well um, the first episode starts with um, Minami Kodoro who fought Gorgum as Kamen Rider Black in the previous series. Well, um, he was flying a helicopter, and with him was uh, this woman. Her name is Hidaru Reiko, but uh, Kodoro calls her Reikan. Anyway, um, while uh, Kodoro was flying the helicopter, soon, Something attacked them, and it was some kind of giant spaceship that looked like some kind of insect. Well, anyway, um, turns out that this spaceship was inhabited by these aliens who are part of the Crisis Empire, which is some kind of a um, evil space organization that has been conquering uh, planets all over the universe and Earth. Has become the next target. No one. But the leader of the Crisis Empire is a being who uh, is known as Emperor Crisis. And well, uh, he's not really shown doing much of the uh, series, but he is mentioned many times. Now, in the spaceship, we have a uh, General. Jaku, and uh, well, uh, he is the leader of the aliens he commands in order to take over Earth. Then another, uh, well, a villainess we have a uh, Don Sobo Mariboro, and uh, she is a woman who is also the uh, staff intelligence officer. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention General Jack. Well, uh, he wears a golden helmet, or a golden mask helmet, and a cape. And he carries some kind of staff, I think that he did. And for Mari Baron, well, uh, he uh, wears this helmet and some kind of cape dress. And on her helmet has a yellow feather. And well, not only that, but her feather can uh, kill a person when she throws it. Uh, somebody. Now, uh, the other one, other villains are, um, oh yes, uh, Kaihei Dacho Posugon, and he is this uh, creature that has some kind of, um, well, he wears some kind of green white jacket, and uh, his head looks like a helmet with a red visor, and on his forehead is some, it's a face, which is not to be his actual face. Another one was um oh yes um Higo Daicho Garuso. He is the uh, armored officer and oh yeah because you see uh Posigan, he's the naval commander and well Garuso he's the armor officer and um he is a robot who wears this blue jacket and he has a well his head has one red circle on it, it's supposed to be his eye, and well, he can remove his head, and his body can uh, move it off his head, and his head can fly around with the body. Yeah. And the other one is um, Hiba Taicho Kitorian, who is the fan captain, and um, well, he's some kind of creature with a man, I think, I think they call a yeah, mandibles around here. 
and yeah, yeah, he's a quote unquote white Quaker who works in the blue suit, and uh, and then we got uh, Robot Chakra with the uh, the chief secretary coming a robot. He's a small robot who, uh, who you know, just manages some Amber items. Well, anyway, um, back to Bordero. Well, I mentioned after the attack, uh, he and Rayshon had a land stage. No, another thing is that uh, it turns out that uh, sometime after Godra defeated uh, Gorgon uh, as common rider Baraku, he was taken in by the Zahara family. And they gave him a, and uh, he was given a job by uh, the father uh, to um, uh, okay, Mrs. Nohara and uh, remind him. Yeah, I think that Kinshi was his name. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, and uh, he gave Godro the job and a place to stay. Also, um, another member of the family is Udako, who is uh, Ichun Kinshi's wife. And then we have their two children. Oh, I forgot to mention that Shikinji and Utaku, they call each other Mama and Papa because uh, maybe it's a thing in Japan where uh, married couples call each other that um, if they have children. But anyway, um, yes. And we have the children, Shigeru, their son, who is the oldest. And then we have um, their daughter, Hidomi. Shigeru's younger sister. And for Shigeru, Hitomi uh, refers to Kodoro as Onichan, which is a way, way you refer to an older brother in Japan, even though Kodoro is not their actual brother, but um, they call him that since he was taken in. Now, um, see, sometime later, um, Crisis has started to attack Earth at night. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, Rei-chan, not only is he a photographer, but he's also Kodoro's girlfriend. Yeah. Now, um, like I said before, uh, yeah, Crisis attack Earth and Night, and, uh, well, Kodoro uses strength, uh, the super strength, to, uh, help people. And then finally, uh, Crisis forces has captured him. And they wanted him to uh, help them conquer Earth, but Godro refused, and because of that, they uh, broke his king stone in two and sent him down to Earth to die. However, by the time he landed on Earth, uh, he managed to survive. And the reason was that, well, what happened was that, uh, well, um, after he landed the king stone, Turns out that it can uh, talk to Kodoro and uh, told him that um, because of uh, the light of the sun, it causes common rights of red powers to change. And so he has a new form, a new common rider form known as common rider black Rx. And whenever he starts to fight the uh, a villain, he would say, I am the Kodomo of the Dayo, Common Rider Black Rx. And, um, so, uh, Kodomo is uh, the Japanese word for child, and Dayo is the Japanese word for son. So, technically, he will tell villains that he's the child of the son. Now, um, and his henshin sequence, well, it's like this. And chin, and he becomes common rider Black Rx. And only that, uh, Badro Hoppa, who was destroyed in the previous series, has been revived as a new vehicle known as Badro Pada. And well, in the previous series, uh, Badro Hoppa was green, but um, when Badro Hoppa became Agro Pada, he became blue. And also, uh, and that's when Kodoro starts to fight uh, the Crisis Empire as Common Rider Black Rx. 
Now we're on. I think two episodes later, it's revealed that, um, well, there's this thing here. Yo, well, it is like that, that demon world, and, um, yes, uh, somehow, uh, Godro found some kind of passageway into it. And, well, it turns out that it was a world that was conquered by Crisis. Now, uh, and the people were picking up um, the water, and that was only for the benefit of Crisis, but not for the people who were conquered. Of course, uh, they've been with some resistance, but uh, it's not easy because um, the Crisis Empire has uh, the enforcers to make sure that the people are doing what they want them to do. Of course, uh, Godro uh, fought the enforcers, and then uh, one of the uh, inhabitants gave um, Godro this a uh, this plan for a new vehicle for Rider Run. And then uh, eventually, Godro returned to Earth, and he. Uh, so in the next episode, he was working on Rider Run, and he finally completed making everything, and well. Rider Run is a uh, this red car that kind of has some kind of a uh, yeah uh, well the window looks like bug eyes now uh, and once you know, Rider Run was activated uh, well it wasn't easy for Rider uh, Run to get control but eventually uh, he kind of got uh, Rider Run you know to uh, work for him. And now he has another vehicle uh, to help fight crisis. And not only that, this makes um, Arvik the first Kamen Rider to have a car as part of his arsenal. Now, uh, episodes later, we uh, see. Oh yes, well, uh, Crisis was having a, well, they wanted to uh, do something with the growth of uh, this princess who was the daughter of Emperor Crisis. However, uh, something happened and she ended up dying. And well, uh, Mary Barham, who was in charge of overseeing the, the yeah, the progress, well, uh, he wouldn't know how what to do, so he decided to uh, kidnap an orc girl to uh, pose as Emperor Crisis. But however, um, he didn't want to tell neither General Jack or the Emperor. And then um, they uh, kidnapped uh, many girls, and one of the girls who was kidnapped was Hitomi. And eventually, um, well, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Sahara, well, they were um, worried about Hitomi and they wanted her back. And, she, um, yes, and eventually, um, Gojiro decided to uh, investigate and, well, um, and with a uh, Alcobada, he he followed the Mary Baron uh, to the team world, where he was taking um, the girls to this place called the Valley of Miracles, or something like that. And um, so you know the girls can uh, can become a bit older, you know, like around like uh, twelve years or something like that. And, and what uh, Cordino was that Shikuro followed along because he was also uh, worried about his sister. And then, um, yes, it, now while uh, Godoro uh, was on his search in that demon world, he, um, 
um, okay, he met up this guy called Kasumino Joe, which means Joe the Hay. But uh, I'll just call him Joe for short. And well, uh, when uh, Kodora met him, he's wearing some kind of helmet that has some kind of thing to cover his eyes. And actually, uh, he found um, some people, and of course, uh, the, the, the thing that was, that was going to attack was some kind of control device, and attack uh, he attacked Kodoro. Of course, they fought, and eventually, um, Joe managed to uh, gain control away from the device, and now he's no longer under control of crisis. And then, um, who was the girl who, uh, but anyway, um, we're supposed to be for his sister, um, he tried to, uh, while he was fighting, um, the Lens's Kamen Rider Black, Rx, and then, um, where was he told me who was, uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't the it wasn't the it was the Tommy who uh, uh well either way um one of the kids died then well um Kodoro in his RX form he was sad however his sadness has caused his um, powers to change and became Robo Rider oh and the fact to mention that uh the RX form. Well, there's some part of black, but most of it is just ring armor, and you know the shape of his rider head. Uh, anyway, um, as Robo Rider, he uh, yeah, there's some black stuff and then um, some yellow on it as well. And he has a weapon called uh, what's it called? A gun. Oh, the fact to mention that in his regular RX form, he has this saber called a uh, revolt ring. Which is something that comes out of his belt. And then, um, then another episode, you know, this is so for the story arc. Well, Mary Barron has sent Chito, right, Chitomi and the other girls into this uh, waterfall, and she casts some kind of spell, and she starts all the girls to become older. And the end uh, to be like uh, about 12 or something. And Hitomi became the false princess, and the other girls became her servants. And then, uh, well, uh, Kodoro, Joe, and Shikuru, in one of the episodes, they found Hitomi. Of course, by the time she found her, she was already uh, grown up. And now, uh, well, Kotoro and Shigeru try to uh, get her memory back, but uh, she still believes that she was the daughter of Emperor Crisis. But then, uh, with the allies they uh, met in the uh, the story arc, they finally defeated uh, Mary Bart and she and she and her minions defeated. And it, but also Shigeru has figured out that. Kodoro is Rx. Also, he um, he pointed out to Kodoro that um, if uh, his parents brought back home a grown up Hitomi, they would be uh, they would be shocked. And so, um, however, uh, one of the allies uh, they made talk about this uh, place where they can revert and you know, what was done. To uh, all the girls, and they set them some kind of flower, and all the girls uh, went back to the regular ages. And so, and eventually, uh, Shikuru, Joe, and Shigeru brought all the girls back to Earth and to their own family. And Mr. and Mrs. Ahara were happy that both their son and both their son and daughter came back home. Now, in another episode, we meet another villain known as Dustmother, who is the Inspector General, and he was uh, sent to uh, investigate 
only to see uh, how um, what's going on with uh, you know Jack Fortress and why uh, he was um, I think get to conquer Earth and uh, because uh, and also he was to report to the Emperor about you know every he seen. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh yes, and then we uh, at the and then we found another episode that had a surprise appearance by Shadow Moon, who was um, actually uh, Nabuki from you know who was a uh, was a daughter brother from the previous series. However, um, turns out that um, even though Shadow Moon was around. Any trace of uh, the person who used to be is long gone, so technically, uh, Ardex had to fight a corpse. And eventually, he was defeated, and yes, that was the last of. Oh, another thing I'm sorry to mention is that um, Joe decided to uh, stay in Earth to help Godro uh, fight Crisis. So he became a new ally for during the series. Also, uh, I think I forgot, but something happened which got, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there was an episode that revealed that, um, well, this uh, woman who Joe knew from uh, the female world, well, um, turns out that uh, he was a uh, part of the res of this resistance to a rebellion to overturn uh, the crisis empire. And, uh, Eventually, uh, she found all right, and she went back to help, uh, don't, uh, to help the rebellion fight crisis. And she, um, oh, and then, um, uh, another episode we meet, uh, another, a new ally. Uh, well, uh, there was this girl named, um, Madobo, Madobo Kiyo. I think it was a, uh, yeah, Madoka Kyoko, and uh, she is a, uh, a young, a teenage girl who, um, well, what happened was that uh, when her father was killed by crisis, she decided to, uh, well, uh, train herself by, uh, trying to use some kind of power to uh, go through water, and, you know, the way she does is like this. Of course, uh, at first she had trouble, but she, um, yeah, she, but by the end of that episode, she managed to succeed. You see, uh, her father um, was in charge of uh, seeing the water sub. No, no, um, the uh, sending the water, you know. And well, in that episode, crisis kind of like um. Well, to uh, make water unavailable to the people of Japan. And Mary Byron came in with some water, however, she was told to, um, uh, she told the people that, that she will give them water if they place loyalty to crisis and as that was some the people sent her a contract ensuring that. However, uh, Kyoko came and Use her barrel to bring water from the ground. So, so anyway, Artex fought Mary Barron and yes, and then uh, defeated her uh, plan. And then we get another. Um, then also uh, getting close to the end of the series. Well, um, of one thing, Emperor Crisis can this thing called a doomsday uh, bomb because well um, the emperor was so uh, upset with um, with general Jack's forces that uh, constantly failing that if they don't succeed in uh, conquering earth by the time the uh, the final drop bullets are down then um, they will explore and destroy for this crisis.
it's in a Rick Perry game in um in defeated the uh, well what happened was that uh, all the cap all the captains came to fight Eric. However, it turns out to be uh, a way to um to turn on Gidorian and then he escaped and it was revealed that some kind of slaves were or he was some kind of device and eventually he was destroyed. Or I think he was destroyed yeah, he was destroyed eventually and that was the end of Gidorian and the Doomsday Clock was gone due to um Gatorian showing his loyalty to the Emperor Crisis. Oh, I forgot to mention that um, in earlier episode, uh, Joe was some kind of injury, but eventually he came back. Oh, and there was another episode where um, well, there was the uh, oh yes, this woman um uh, who was sent no 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 uh these people who were um the formers, but you know they were uh um. The Crisis Empire and well, um, and Joe who came back after his recovery. He um, well, uh, they uh, interfered and then later they met up with Kyoko and turns out that um, that uh, she was uh, training herself to um, to herself more to become a uh, the big crisis. And she even uh, have uh, she has practiced archery. Oh, another I forgot to mention that uh, in the episode where Kyoko uh, was supposed to introduce Lee Chan also found out about the uh, arrest identity, and now she knows that uh, Kuduru is some writer Black Arrest. So now she has. Two friends, no, yeah, three people who knows his identity. Two, three Alex, I mean, or at least I said four Alex now that uh, Kyoko also knows well. Yes, and you know, they all played a part in uh, to help the heat crisis. And then we get another episode where, uh, well, uh, God is gone, decide uh, when doing his final battle with Rx, and well, um, Eventually, uh, Ares defeated the Goddess on, and he was destroyed. And then there's another episode with Posigan and Gamer and Arex also destroyed him as well. And that was the last of the three alien um, captains, or officers, or captains, you know, whatever, making uh, Jakku and Mariboran. It's the final ones left. If you don't count the uh, dark matter. And then as we getting closer to the final battle, um not the um oh yes, well um well uh, oh yes, Mary Barum well uh, she made a, wanted to make a deal with uh the Japanese government. However, they refused, and Mary Brown was upset that she started an all assault, an all out assault on Japan. And they finally, when eventually RS came and, you know, fought her, and oh, yeah, yes, remember now, yes. And one of her plans was that, well, since she got um, her aunt, who was supposed to be known as the 100 I had, and no, 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 that was in the episode, but yeah, Ares defeated that one, and, oh yeah, now I remember, she, uh, used some kind of ritual to bring back some of the monster to a red spot during the series. Of course, they were, like, controlled, but eventually, she defeated Ares, and also, Ares, while Ares was fighting Mary Baron, she, uh, scratched her face, and she ended up wearing some kind of eye patch. To cover the scar on her face. And eventually, uh, well, uh, Jaku and Mary Brown uh, talk with uh, the Emperor, who was talking to them using some kind of um, 
start to a communication and we'll um well uh general jack no no the emperor was so upset with uh jaku that he um started destroying him or he didn't and Mary Barton plead for um uh, that to be spared and he never did it and he became uh receiving a new form known as the uh Midru Yaku. And he became like um some kind of horn or something like that, but um yes it was a new form. And uh it was left of uh Jack's forces when I go attack Japan, the people and um Oh yeah, and also when that was happening, oh yeah, before that happened, uh, well, many people were retreating, you know, you know, going somewhere so they could be safe until uh, the whole crisis situation is, is over. And the Sakura family, well, they went and uh, because they didn't want to leave, but God convinced them to go with uh, the family to uh, keep them safe. But anyway, uh, eventually, uh, which is what found uh, where most of you retreated. And, uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, for that happened, forgot to mention that, um, and they were, uh, before that happened, uh, well, uh, Goduru was, um, injured and doing one of the, uh, doing a battle. However, he was, uh, he survived, and the people who were driven were, of course, the bad Ten Kamen Riders. I think they were, well, there was a uh, Ichigo, Nigo, VC3, Spider Man, uh, the uh, oh, X2, Amazon, Rongo, Sky Rider, Super One. And CX2. And they all uh, came together to fight against. To reveal, they want to be able to reveal that they were in the United States and Arizona to train. And they uh, came back to Japan to help Arvex uh, defeat Crisis. And they were during the final battles, you know, with Kadusan. But to run on it, but um, yes, uh, in the last few episodes, they uh, help Ardex uh, fight crisis. Now, back to uh, Ned Reject. Well, um, yes, he attacked where the people escaped to, and with everybody running, he ended up killing Mr. and Mrs. Sahara, which uh, caused. Um, Resulted in Shikiro and Hitomi becoming orphans. And Kodoro was so upset with what happened that he was. Oh, you forgot to mention another episode, I keep forgetting things. But anyway, um, yes, during the story arc with Hitomi and the Oni and the Demon Road, well, um, yeah, it's, uh, well, uh, Kodoro became angry and he got a new form known as Boyo Rider, which is like a a blue version of Kamen Rider with some red stripes. Forgot to mention that as well. But anyway, uh, when General Jack was attacking uh, yes, at, uh, yeah, attacking, then, uh, well, uh, Kyo, I mean, uh, Kodoro was probably hurt, and uh, well, he told Kyoko to. Uh, yeah, take on some water then. Um, well, of uh, he um, had all the water all over him, and well, and one oh yeah, one of the monsters that was sent. But he went inside. Uh, he used his uh, fire rider power to turn into some kind of thing and um, defeat the monster, and the monster was destroyed. And it looked like a uh, fire rider thing, and uh, took him out. Some people were sad. However, later on, uh, during this episode, you know, where the temporary monsters were around, 
say um, Frodo came back and he revealed what happened was that um, when he was fighting um, the monster inside his stomach, well, um, before the explosion happened, he used the water, the water molecule from, you know, the water that uh, people, uh, Kyoko do get to escape. So that's why he was able to survive. Now eventually, um, and then came the final battle between Arvix and Jakku. And eventually, um, in the end, Arvix will uh, use his revolt games to to the finisher, and Jakku was finally destroyed. And that only leaves uh, Mari Boran, Darth Mother, and Emperor Kratos. And then, uh, well, uh, he got a message from Desmond told him to um, go to uh, the Emperor and, well, the Emperor told him that uh, if he were to rule, that uh, he's on his side, that he will allow to uh, rule Earth. However, Frodo refused, and so, Well, before he decided to fight, however, Mary Barry came and then the Emperor destroyed the. Uh, or maybe it was Desmond who destroyed Mary Barry and she was dead, so no more her. And that only leaves Desmond and the Emperor. And um, it turns out that uh, RS allies uh, came with them, not knowing. But anyway, um. Arvex went to a uh, Buddhist crisis and that's mother. Well, he fought that's mother and then um, eventually he was destroyed. But before he died, he well, was told to look at, well, uh, at the owner world and what he saw was the Japanese islands. And it turns out that the demon world was actually a shadow of Earth. And saying that as long as Earth, but the people of Earth pollute the, the planet, then there will always be a demon world that will shadow it. And then that's when they die, and then we got Irex fighting the Emperor himself. And well, uh, his form is that as a giant head with a ox's leg and uh, three faces on his forehead. And they fought, and eventually, Arvex, uh, he uh, defeated the Emperor, and that was the end of the Precious Empire. And later in the episode, well, um, they set up a grave for the Mr. Ibn Zahala, and, um, well, um, Kyoko decided to have Shikuru Hitomi live with them. Especially since, you know, her parents were also killed by crisis. And well, uh, Ray Chan, he, um, he plays a stupid photographer, and uh, I forgot what Joe's episode do. Oh, and uh, Kodo decided to um, join the other government writers who were uh, some of those training to, to help protect her from evil. And that was the end of Common Rider Black Rx. And uh, yeah, I did like this series as well. Um, maybe this is my favorite uh, Common Rider series. Well, I can say it's my com favorite writer series of uh, well, but I would say maybe this is my favorite writer series of the Showa era. Yeah, I think I like Black and Black Rx, you know, more than the other ones I've seen before. Oh, and another thing that. Uh, this series was the one that was adapted into the Bomb Smash Rider. Yes, and um, of course, that's, uh, I heard that series didn't do well. And, you know, but anyway, yes, um, if it weren't for the Bomb Smash Rider, I wouldn't have known about uh, the Kamen Rider franchise. But, but anyway, um, yes. So. And as for letting children watch it, well, um, 
I mean, uh, it's not as dark as the previous series. I mean, it seems to have good dark moments, but not as bad. Of course, if you were a parent, then I guess the best you can do is watch the series yourself, and then you can decide whether to uh, leave it watch it or not. So, um, yes, I think that's all I can say about Kamen Rider Black Artists in this video. And also, please subscribe to my channel because it will help me a lot. And also, please share this video on uh, social media like Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. So, that's it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.